it is once again time for a charity shop run. If there's anything that I missed in this video, please do let me know with a timestamp down below.
So, I uh, just picked up a load of Xbox games which you've just seen. At least I hope you have. Um, so the 360 games, which are incredibly expensive, I thought they would be a mistake. But I picked up seven games at, or six games at three pound and two at four. So they obviously have a different pricing system for some other things. I, I don't know. It's better just not to ask questions and just to, to go in as and when I'm passing and just buy stuff. But Minecraft for three quid on Xbox One, absolute bargain. Star Trek, whatever it is, on the 360 for eight quid, not so much. But yeah, I only came because uh, this one is right next to a Mackey D's and my daughter's ill, so I need to go and pick her up. And I thought I might as well treat myself while she's asleep, because um, I think she needs to sleep more than anything else. So uh, now to go and pick her up from my parents. Okay, so haul for the charity shops for the week. And um, it's been very, very video game heavy, which is an absolute surprise. Because uh, as I probably said earlier, trying to get video games for a decent price over my way can be very, very difficult. Uh, I've seen last week, uh, there was Xbox 360 games for eight pound. And I, I've, I've seen it in one of my local ones where they try to sell I think it was Dragon Age or something for like eight pound again. That was on the Xbox 360. So to get not only a couple of games, but some decent games as well for a couple of quid is not bad going. So this little bundle here cost me just shy of 30 quid, I think. So we do have Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. So many of these bloody Call of Duties. Uh, GTA 5 with the maps quite minty inside, actually. Lovely jubbly. Kingdom Come Deliverance. We also have For Honor. Far Cry 4. Call of Duty World War 2. Already got one of these listed and I had it a little bit too high. Two quid too high than average. So I've brought it down a little bit. But then again, I'm expecting most video games to fly out over the next month or so. Forza Horizon 2. Rare Replay. And... Minecraft. So all of those games have all been listed. I did that the other day, but I kept everything in the front room so that I could do this part of the video. So they are all listed. I don't know what the amount comes to because I've not checked. Uh, what else did we get? So we'll go into a little bag of goodies. We've got some Warhammer. So this one was a pound. This looks to be mainly Tyranids by the looks of it. Uh, mostly, if not all unpainted. Mixture, have they been primed or not? I don't know, I can't quite tell. So that one was a quid. This one was also a quid. And in here we have got, these are all plastic as well. These are a few Space Marines. 
Uh, then we're going up in a world, we've got a bag for two pound. There's some sort of a dreadnought and then a load more space marines. Some of these are lead, because this is a lot heavier. Definitely on this side, there's a couple of lead figures in there. Lovely jubbly. This is lighter, so I presume there's no lead figures in here. And this is a one pound bundle of space marines. They have been painted, not the best paint job in the world, but probably better than what I would do it. So yeah, that one was a quid. This again, it's got some weight to it in parts. So there is some metal figures in here. There's a few loose arms, uh, mainly space marines again. There's a bike, there's another bike and another bike with some dude on it. Uh, that bundle was two pound. I think this, that was come to seven quid. Then same place, hang on, there was some Wii games uh, and there was two that I was interested in, Wii Sports and Mario Galaxy, both of which are missing their, their games. So I spoke to the lady behind the till and said, well, it's one or two things. Either someone didn't check them before putting them out and admittedly they weren't in the, the normal space from where, where they put the Wii games or someone's nicked them. So either way, they let me have the two cases for free, which is very, very kind of them. I picked up a Wii at the car boot the other week, which had a Wii Sports disc only. So if I can put it into the big box version, I can get more money. Lovely jubbly. And then uh, Mario Galaxy, always a, a good game case to have lying around. So nice and easy. Uh, then I picked up this. This is horrific. I paid seven pound um, and there was on the label, there was the, the datey thing. Uh, was it 2012, I think? No, 2002. I mean, it's horrendous. Seven quid, I'd imagine it's worth about 30, 40, 50, one of those numbers. Uh, then we got some Glen Fiddich stuff. So this was two pound. Ashtray. Doesn't smell of ash. Always a win. So give that a, a quick wipe over. That'll be good to go. But... I'm actually going to bundle it with this tankard, which I think was three pounds off the top of my head. Am I right? Yes, I was right, it was three pounds. Very good condition, um, if not in amazing condition. Just looking at the, the gold, looking to see if there's any blemishes. There's one little mark down here, the rest of it is good. So five pound into, I've got no idea. I didn't even Google it. I just thought, oh, that's nice, I'll buy that. Then, this was a quid. It's not worth a great amount. It's worth around 10 pound all in. So a pound into seven thereabouts. It's just a nice, easy listing. Uh, and then I bought some more video games. I think I bought these today, I think. So this one was one pound 50. I didn't check it, but I'm fairly sure most Tiger Woods games are still relatively desirable. So Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008, £1.50 for Elder Scrolls Online on the Xbox One. We have Quantum Break. It's got the bloke who played Iceman in X-Men in it, uh, £1.50. Gears of War 4, £1.50. And don't get me wrong, there might not be massive profits in most of these, but Christmas, they're not going to stick around. Fingers crossed. Uh, Halo 5 Guardians, £1.50. I've not picked up Just Dance in bloody ages, but we have Just Dance 3, the limited edition. I think at one point during uh, one of the lockdowns, these were fetching like nine, 10 pounds each, insane. And then Wii Sports Resorts paid a pound. Then I was supposed to be at a job over in Burnham for one o'clock. I got there at 12.30 and they got postponed to two o'clock. So naturally, I went to the charity shops. I went to three in total. Only bought one item uh, across all three, and it was the Half Blood Prince hardback with the dust sleeve. Paid fifty pence. So, yeah, more Harry Potter books. But there we go. That's it. So half of the game's already listed. Um, the other half I'm going to do today, maybe while watching telly later. Uh, the clothing is going to go into the clothing pile of stuff that I really need to list, but. I don't like listing clothing. Um, I, I need to be in the right frame of mind. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to be there today. 
So I'll do the easy stuff, I'll do the games, um, and then, yeah, that'll be it. Fingers crossed. All in all, a fairly good week. But that's it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Au revoir.